the review for the new BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy set of brushes is coming at you right now with the full review and a demo of these brushes. Hello friends, I'm really happy to be reviewing these brushes for you today. BK Beauty announced last week, um, early I believe, last week that they were doing a collab with Angie from Hot and Flashy. When I watched Angie's video, I knew that this was a brush set that I wanted and then I found out that they were sending it to me and I was just over the moon excited, especially since Angie specifically said that she designed this set with her mature beauty community in mind. I think that is fantastic. There are some really great brushes in here. I use them all on my eyes and my face today, and I'm going to show that to you throughout the video. You know, one thing I do say about brushes is that, yes, they may be a little bit more expensive, but I do feel like they are a little bit more of an investment too. You know, they're not a piece of makeup that is going to go bad or that you're going to get tired of and you're going to want to get rid of. They're really something that's going to be around for a long time. And as long as I've been using BK brushes, I have never seen even one hair fall out of their brushes. They are so good and they wash up just fantastic and very high quality brushes. I love these things. And this is the first set that BK Beauty has sent to me, which I appreciate so very much, but all of the, their others I did purchase as sets and I used Afterpay, which really helps me. So you can break it apart into four equal installments and it comes out every two weeks out of your checking account. So that really is something that was handy for me as I was purchasing these and thinking about them being an investment. So let's just start off with this one right here. This is the A503. This is the largest eye brush in the collection or in this set. And it's quite a fluffy eye brush. It works really well though because she's got it really tapered at the end and I have found that for my eyes and for putting on the transition color this is really good. It's a little bit more fluffy so it blends out really easy and it doesn't deposit a lot of color. So that transition part right there where you're wanting to get down in the crease and use this part of your eyelid at the same time, this is a really great brush for. And since it is such a fluffy brush, it's also really great to dip down into some light powder and set down your eyeshadow primer and go back in after you've put all of your eyeshadow on and do a lot of blending and it makes your eye look really seamless. Your I look look really seamless so that you can um, you know really blend it out and just buff it out and kind of just make it a wash of color it's just really good for blending and then the next one that I went in with is the e501 this one is what I use to pack on my shadow out there in the outer corner and it's quite dense it's not super squatty. I like that about it. So it's got a bit of give in it and it's really good for just putting that shadow there and then trailing it up into the crease a bit. And I just wiggled it and kind of brought it out very lightly. And then I went back in again with the A503 afterwards and buffed that color out a little bit more. So the A501 was really great for packing on shadow out there. And then next I went into the next smallest one, which is the A502 and I'll show you these two together. This is the A504 and the A502. They're really close, but there are some subtle differences in it. This little 50, let's see, I don't want to get these mixed up. The little 504, which is this one right here, is really good for detail. I really have appreciated that. And then this one right here, which is the 502, I went ahead and I packed on another color, which I put purple over the third part of my lid right here and I just really packed that on but I was able to blend it out really well and the other thing that it did was it helped me to blend into all these other areas. These are light brushes. They're not going to pack on color. They don't have a lot of stiffness to them. They're very soft and that's what I like about them. Now the smaller of the, the two, the 504, I went in and I went into this area right here and I packed that on in here on um, the lightest color that I used on the inner third of my lid and it's beautiful again because it's soft I went in and I just blended right there into the purple color so much 
fun with these. I love these. Then I took this one right here, which is the, um, this one's the 505, A505. And I took this one. It's a paddle brush. Um, and it, you know, you can use this for concealer. You can use it for a lot of things, but what's really nice about it, it's, it's stiff enough that I used it for a liner brush. So I just went straight down, dipped it really lightly into my dark color. And then I went and I buffed it across here. After I did that, I cleaned off that smallest one. And then I went in and I buffed that out towards the outer eye and just really diffused that color. So those were great for that. And then I went ahead and I cleaned off that shader brush and I picked up a really light color and I packed that into this inner corner right here so that that could be shown up a little bit more because I noticed that the one, um, even though it was beautiful for blending, the smallest um, shader brush or fluffy brush, it didn't pack it on quite stark enough for me. I like my eyeshadows a little bit brighter. So I did go in with that and packed that on after I had cleaned it off from doing the dark color. So the set, as far as the eyes go, you can get a complete Complete look done. I feel like it's very seamless in blending and it's very easy because you have these little detailed brushes. I love that about this. And I love that she did include that big shader brush. BK Beauty doesn't have one this big and I really like this brush a lot. So those are the eye brushes. Now, hands down, this one, the A506, this one is my favorite brush out of this set. This is so fantastic because what they did is they miniaturized their angled foundation brush and i use that one all the time the 101 is by far their most popular brush it's almost always sold out but i use this to put on my liquid foundations and this does a wonderful job because not only do you get it blended out very seamlessly because it's very dense it you can go back in and you can touch up places where it just really will cover really well where like where i have a lot of dark spots but this one that they miniaturized which is just a base little mini of it this is so good for taking my corrector and really laying it down but it's soft enough that when you go in there you're gonna really be able to buff it out and blur that out that whole entire area and yet you retain enough of your product on your eye for it to be able to really just give you a seamless look and if you needed to you can just continue to go back in my eyes are set with a little bit of powder but boy this is so fun you can get right down in here in that corner where there is so much darkness i loved that about it then what i did is i actually took my corrector on this before i did my foundation and i used that to just go over my spots where i normally just use a little paddle brush this was fantastic i also used it after i cleaned it off i used it to buff out my primer on my lids as well for your cream products this is fantastic i am blown away by this brush i know that when they do the single of this one so many people are going to be picking it up i would hope that they would very soon bring out a middle one because i think a middle sized one between the big one and this one that was a little bit more fluffy like the small one is will be fantastic for blending out contour and contouring out your cheeks and your jawline i just think that this little handy brush is going to be one of their standouts in their line i love that and then she introduced also the a507 which is an angled blush brush which is really good because it's not so big you're going to be able to really get in there and do some precision work if you want to if you wanted to you could put your contour on with it like this you just pinch it a little bit your highlight same thing it would be able to go through your highlight i used it for blush today and it just blended out absolutely seamlessly and it seems to hug the cheek so well and it laid everything down and then i was able to super blend everything out go down the nose the chin it is a beautiful brush very soft and very airy and light it's not too dense like some of these angled blush brushes can be where they deposit so much at once i would still suggest that you either tap it into your hand after you pick up your blush or tap it into a rag or what tissue whatever you use that's just a good practice for everybody to get into so that they don't get too much on at once you can always put more on afterwards my overall thoughts on this set 
effect is that they did a standout job. Angie picked out some fantastic brushes. She put them together in such a way that, yes, I do feel like they are really geared towards a mature woman, especially if you have hooded eyes. You're going to really appreciate these little brushes that pack it on, but at the same time, they're small enough and fluffy enough that you can blend everything out. And then this big one, I really do love this one that she did with the fluffy blending. I just think that that is so good. Also did get this question, which I thought was a fantastic question. Would this be a great introductory into BK Beauty? Absolutely. If you've been wanting to try the BK Beauty brushes, but you really didn't know where to start, this would be a great place to start. Also, if you're wanting to have some suggestions on some other things that you can get from BK Beauty, of course, the 101 that I just talked about is one of my standouts. Also, if you're somebody that likes to wear powder foundation, this brush, this is the 105. This one is fantastic for that because it is very dense and it buffs powder foundation in just absolutely seamlessly. It's gorgeous to use. And then the last one that I would recommend is their little detail. This is their 108. This is a little detail brush that I use to put on my highlighter. And it just is so nice because again, it's small enough that it deposits the highlighter, but it doesn't like put so much down that you can't but blend it out and this is fluffy enough again that it can be uh, blended out as well as you're doing your highlighter i really love this brush i also like it on days when it's a little bit more uh, muggy or the humidity is high and i love to set down my under eyes with it because it is that really light airy powder brush and so this is a really handy one to have but the angie hot and flashy set i think that if you're somebody that has been wanting to try them for a long time but you haven't known where to go this is a great place to start and you'd be able to add to your collection if you want to now i do know that they do have a couple of codes one is angie's and then also um, bk beauty usually has some that you can use but i'll make sure that i put the codes down below and my link which is an affiliate link so if you do buy through my link. I thank you very much for your support of my channel. I always appreciate that so much. But either way, it is a beautiful, beautiful set and I think you're going to love it. I'm really proud that our mature beauty community was kept in mind as this set was curated and I think they did a great job. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you have any questions about this set, let me know down below. Also, have you already gotten the set yourself and are you already enjoying it? Let everybody know that as well well so that you guys can kind of chat a little bit about it and make your decisions about whether or not it's something that you want to invest in. Thanks so much for being with me today. I love you all very, very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.